All right, welcome back. Um, I don't know if this is so much of an update or another rant on this kit. Uh, Y'all know, uh, uh, of course, had the windshield fitment issues. Now we're very close to finalizing the assembly. I got to, I got to work on that spot a little right there. Uh, it got something on it when I was trying to get the windshield glued in, so obviously it's glued. So hopefully you can see the engine is completely in there, it's sitting where it's supposed to. The alignment pin on the, um, uh, the transmission mount is in the hole. So transmission isn't going any further. The engine isn't going any further in. And um, as I was getting it put together, uh, I put the breather on, went to put the breather on back on the carburetors. And uh, I'll throw a picture in uh, long in here somewhere where um, I had the engine fully assembled. The uh, distributor wasn't in the way. Uh, you, you'll be able to clearly see. Well, you won't be able to clearly see, but I did check, make sure the carburetors were fully seated against the bottom of this. And now I've already cut the pins off, and I'll explain that. Uh, when I went to put it on, there was a windshield washer motor that was, that was, let me get a better pointer. It was right here, sitting right there on that little pin. And this wouldn't drop down. So I said, okay, look at, look back at the instruction that doesn't say foos kit, stock kit, whatever. Okay, fine. I look at a picture on the box, uh, right here, you can clearly see there's no windshield washer motor. Okay, no problem, pop it off. So I popped it off, and I went to put this in there, put it in the pins, and it still, it was sitting like this, it was sitting back, not inside like it's supposed to. Well, that's an issue. I said, well, okay, no problem. I cut the pins off the bottom, as I did. Get it in there. Well, it's still not sitting right. Let me pop off my dis my distributor, because I, I know my distributor's not in the way. But now, as we come down, you see it? It's just not going to freaking work. So I wind up, glued the shaker scoop to the hood. I've already, that's something I've already done because I know this ain't going to work. Lay the hood up here. You can see. There's not a chance in hell. N zero chance in hell. This is going to work. Zero, period. In the discussion. Unless the carburetors come out. So, my question now is, that's obviously not going to work. This is obviously my solution. That's it. That's, that's the way it's going to have to be. So, I took out the stock kit breather. It was chrome. I de-chromed it. Didn't like it. I haven't really got down and looked. It looks like it'll it'll work because of the scoop now. So that'll work. My other thought, and and if I use that, it's it's gonna be maybe semi gloss black. That's that's the way I'm gonna go with it. I don't want it to be flashy black. I don't want it to be uh, flat either. That's why I stripped it. Or my other solution is to possibly use these. Um, I haven't checked to see if I'm going to have the clearance. I believe I will. Let me see if, if there's enough light. 
Yeah, there should be. The back one may be tight. Yeah, but there should be enough room. So, that is now where I stand. And I know old Tom, I, I know uh, Rambler69, he commented and said the only, the only new releases with the Foose was the FD100 and uh, the Cadillac. But from Vivelle, especially with Foose's name on it, this is unacceptable. Totally and completely unacceptable. Um, you, 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 you can't build the Foose kit. It, it, it can't be done. So, that's uh, a sad story of where I stand. Y'all let me know down below if uh, y'all think I should go with the, just paint the stock intake black perhaps a well flat black or I'll sim I'm gonna go semi gloss or use the parts by part uh, breathers so y'all let me know down below what you think thank y'all for watching got fuels motor car garage